Hello and welcome to Beer Tier, the German engineer. Today we are back with freeways and we have 10 tiles left to uncover. And at the same time, we are at 24,107 world efficiency. So let's try to uncover another five today and see how high we can push that score with five more levels. I would say let's jump right into it and see how it goes. All right, and here we are. Let's take a look what we got. Center Road wants to go straight across, and 236 South also wants to go straight across. Smith Road only wants to go to the top here. You only want to go to green, and you want to go to both. So, what comes first in mind down here? Well, of course, a roundabout. Since I, well, could we actually? No, we need a roundabout because of this one right here. So let's see, I have something like this here in mind. We're gonna come out of here and we're gonna go immediately into roundabout mode and build something like this. Very small, but very nifty. Coming over here and straight out the other side so we can build our through road. Coming right over to the middle, connecting in here, somewhat sensible. And then on this side here, back out. Once again, janky as hell. Uh, I have only 10 tiles left, and I still haven't learned how to move my mouse in a straight line. I guess at this point, I'm a lost cause. Okay, but now we gotta come out of here, go all the way up to the water, then bridge up, come straight across. Uh, come on, come on. There you are. And back down. Wonderful. And then on the other side here, the exact same thing, up to the water. We're gonna bridge up. Come over. And back down. And into there. Wonderful. Now, next thing we need are those up here. So that should be pretty straightforward, I would guess. So we can do something like this here. Where we then come out of here and into there. And let's see what we got. Barely any traffic. 208. Yeah. I didn't expect great deeds here because... I mean, how much better can you possibly build this? There's not a hell of a lot going on here. So, I think that's one for the books. And we move on to the next one. All right, let's see what we got. 101 West goes straight up to 236 North, basically. 236 North goes straight over to 101 B. Smith Road is an input. 101 B goes straight over to 236 North. That's the wrong direction for a roundabout. 101 East, that's all right. Smith Road, nothing. But we can still do a roundabout, I believe. All right, we're gonna come out of here, up to there, all the way over. All the way around, back to here, and then we go straight over and into here. And right there, we're gonna build a slip road. Wonderful, that should work out just fine. In the bottom, 236 South, that's our first problem that I wanna overcome. And that problem is that we have right here a crisscross. These are not in the right orientation. So you gotta come out of here and bridge up over just a little bit, bridge back down and feed it right into there. That should work out just fine. You come in, you come in, here we come out, here we come out, here also, here on the other hand we go in and then we come out of here and that was actually not the best thing to do but we will see how it goes. Then with this route here I'm just gonna come over as far as I can without connecting, go up a little bit over and back down. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna go up a little bit in, a, in an angle, a little bit further and back down into here. And then the last thing that we need is this one right here, I believe. Yep, that should be it. All right, Let's see what that looks like. 612. But that is not bad. Yeah, I take that. And we have unlocked the picture. The 
Gravelly Hill Interchange in Birmingham, United Kingdom is the world's first spaghetti junction. <laughs> is it mom's spaghetti junction? Hey, go watch my other video while you're at it. No, I'm just kidding. No, that looks highly interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is the most efficient way to build that, but sure. <laughs> Holy cow. I think they just added on over time, and that's how something like this here is created. I think, okay, we need another slip road here. So what are we going to do? Let's come out of here, connect it into there, connect it into there, and let's go. That kind of thing. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But no telling. I just cannot imagine that they made this plan right here and built it like that on day one without ever thinking about it again. But again, I'm not a civil engineer. <laughs> I'm sure those guys know what they're doing. All right, on to the next one. Let's see what we got. 236 wants to go to 236. Green and purple. And Smith Road wants to go up to there. Well, one would think that should be pretty straightforward. I have a feeling there are not too many points to be gained here. So we're going to go from the top to the bottom probably first. Yeah, we're going to come out of here all the way down to here and as close on the water as we can and then straight into there. On the other hand, we got to come out of here, over here, not connecting, crap. Yep, I wanted to build a bridge there, did not work out. Let's clear it, let's try this again. So all the way from the top over, all the way down to here, coming over, and then coming nicely down into here. And once again, I do not want to connect you two, I want to build a bridge. <laughs> Wonderful. And then up to there and as close as we can together with those two. And then in the most possible or most efficient possible version two over there. This one here, we also don't want to connect you. We want to come up, go across the water, then bridge back down as soon as we can and connect. What else would you build here? <laughs> I don't know if there are I really can't imagine if there are any better solutions. The 240, uh, yeah, I mean, if you have anything better in mind, feel free to let me know. I just don't see it. Well, actually, actually, let me check. I have one more idea. Let's try to save concrete by going just the smallest possible way here and then coming down. And then here, let's come over here. Don't connect, build a bridge, back down and come up to here very small amount and then the fastest way up there let's see if we can save a little bit of concrete but at the same time i didn't build this here perfectly so it's probably going to be worse than before because a bridge costs just so much more concrete come on come on let me bridge down i know you want me to is that not connected now Come on. Damn it. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Don't do me like this. All right, let's try this again. Okay, let's start on the top. Come down to the corner. Over straight. And then into here. As good as we can. Then with this one here, we want to cross over most likely. Kind of like this. Come back down. And build up to here. Here we need to have a stretch where we are kind of inefficient. That is for this bridge that we are about to build right here. Oh, connect. Oh, it didn't. Whew, that was a close one though. That wanted to connect. I could feel it. Then over and down and in. Network completed. Let's see how that works for us. And that is a 250. Yeah. I think that is basically maxed out. I don't see how this here could get any better. I mean, I could maybe save here a pixel or there a pixel worth of concrete, but that's then about it. Oh, well, it is what it is. So let's uh, go back to the map and go to the second to last one we got. Let's see what we have here. This one here wants to go everywhere. This one here wants to go everywhere but yellow. Well, yellow doesn't have any doesn't have an input. Okay, well. The others want to go everywhere with the same amount of traffic. But there's not a hell of a lot of traffic. That screams like something like a roundabout to me. 
industrial road? I mean, it's got to be a roundabout. There's no question, but just how are we going to build it? I think we're going to start coming out of here. Then build up to here. Come over. And then come into here. Over here. Kind of like this. Back down. Straight line. And over. Yeah, something like this. It's kind of what I had in mind. Then we can connect everything just up. Yup, everything just in a nice fashion so they can move very smoothly. That should kind of work. And then with this one here, I want to come up to here as close as we can. Not connecting over, down, and then we can come into here and into there. It says network complete. Well, you know what? Let's simulate it. I don't think that's very good though. I think there's one little slipper out there that can make it better. That's a 372. And now let's check out what I have in mind. This tiny little piece of road there. Let's see if that makes all the difference. I would argue it does. 499. Look at that. Wonderful. All right. That was easy and quick. On to the next one and last one for this episode. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Let me think about this here. Lots of traffic up to the top. Not a lot of traffic. Not a lot of traffic. Here we have a lot of traffic to blue. Not a lot of traffic and not a lot of traffic. So these two here are our main traffic route. Got to keep those two in mind. But I think the smartest thing to start with is probably going to be 64B, right? Yeah, we can come down. Yeah, let's just build it through it. We're gonna come down to here and then along the water just into there. And then somewhat, somewhat down here, we can just come along, split off and come into there. All right, that should be the very first thing that we need. Now, second of all, we wanna come with 64B probably on the other side up. I think the 64 starting idea is not the worst I've ever had. Let's build over here, come up, back down, up to there, across again, back down, and then build right up to here. And we can probably, I don't see a reason why we couldn't, straight up to there, and then split off somewhat right here, and into there. Okay, so we basically built the exact same thing, opposite of each other, just that one of them requires two bridges and the other one doesn't. This industrial road here, we're gonna bring you into there. That's not a beautiful connection, but I don't have a better idea right now. So now, one west wants to go up to one east. I think we should do that straight. So I think I'm just gonna come up here to the water, build straight into there, bridge it, come back down, along the water and bridge it back down and then we're just gonna build somewhat between those what are those mountains volcanoes something like that right between there okay so now we can build a couple things uh, a couple of slip roads already in like this one here i don't see why we couldn't do that immediately and from down here we can probably just connect into there as well but can we do that? Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it makes sense. So let's do that. Out of here and into there. But it brings us over here. It does not bring us to industrial road though. So I gotta come up with something better for that. Well, I have something better for that actually. This here. Ah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, wonderful. All right, then this one here, 64 East. You should be connected into 64 B, I would assume. Um, yeah, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't do that. So we're just going to come into here, bridge up, over, bridge back down, and into there. That doesn't look bad. I build worse shit, I believe. Let's come over here. Straight up. Bridge up. Bridge down. Straight over. And then bridge up. And come along here. And we're gonna go all the way out here, around. Oh, well, we also wanna go up to there with you though. Yeah, we don't really have much of a choice to, but to extend our bridge, come over and into there. 
64B now can be connected onto here. So we can come out of here kind of and back into there. And then one east, we can come out of here and into there. That's not bad. So far, so good. From here, we can come out and into there to give this one here a connection. Then down here, I need to connect it into there. Uh, and that one's done. Yay. 64B has no way of getting over there. Let's see. Where do we need another connect? Well, here. Here I can connect. That should make 64B happy. Industrial roads happy. One west. One west. Oh, the industrial road. Here we are. Okay. As long as it's not more than that, it's all good. And now we have this one here. So if you follow this one here down, I think the easiest would be just to connect it into there. Huh, network complete. Let's see how it goes. I found a 97. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Well, I take that all day long, as a matter of fact. And we unlock the picture on top of it. Let's see what we got. Wherever you want to go in Detroit, an interchange will take you there. Yeah, I think you're not kidding. Good grief. What is all this stuff, you good grief? How do you know where the hell to go without a GPS? You're going to go nuts up there, aren't you? I've been many, many times in Detroit and Michigan in general in my life. But I've never seen a mess like this. Holy cow. Well, anyways, let's take a look at the map. See where we pushed our limit for our efficiency. We pushed it to 26,273. That's not bad. I wanted to go to 35k and we are at 26.2. That's not bad at all. But that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please consider to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and leave me any sort of comment down below. Tips, tricks, what am I doing wrong? Please let me know. I would love to hear it. Thank you and peace.